Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So I'm sure you guys have by now read the announcement from Cambridge regarding the A-level math paper one, which was leaked in Pakistan. Although it made its way to uh, across the border, also some students in UAE also got a hold of it, and uh, I think it was all over Reddit also. But apparently, it seems as if it was leaked in Pakistan. That's what uh, we can tell by the statement. But uh, I posted on my Instagram if you guys have any questions regarding assess grades or regarding what you should do or anything regarding the announcement so you guys came up with some very um, tricky questions for me to answer and that's what i'm going to do in this video but before i start what i what i would like to say is that don't panic i know it's easier said than done but whatever it is that you're going to do you're going to do it after the result okay so there's plenty of time just take it easy and uh, stay in touch with your teacher stay in touch with your school they'll probably guide you and tell you what it is that you should do but anyway here are your questions so the first question is who does this apply to as in the free reset uh, which i talked about in the last video so as far as i can tell and as well i think it's pretty clear from the announcement also that it applies only to students in pakistan however i heard from some students that uh, they also got an email and they happen to be in UAE and some are in Saudi Arabia. So it's best that you stay in touch with your school and um, just ask them what it is that you have to do and they will probably guide you better. If I have some information, I'll make sure that I uh, share it with you guys timely. Okay, then a lot of you reached out uh, asking me what would be a good grade in math. So I'm, I don't think I'm in a position to answer this question. Obviously, the more the better, the higher the better. A is what you should all be aiming for but I think that all depends on what you're aiming for what your university requirement is mainly so if you have started A levels it's time that you start researching about universities also see what their requirements are and then decide accordingly you know if you end up with an A nothing like it there's nothing better than that but if you end up with a C or below that then like I said it's best to see what the actual requirement is don't ask me or anyone else uh, what you should be aiming for I mean as far as aiming for is concerned A obviously but whether a B or a C is good that entirely depends uh, where you are applying uh, however i will say this if you're applying for a university which has a requirement of an a and let's say you've ended up with a b i have seen but i've uh, seen very few students able to improve their grade in a2 why because then you've left yourself absolutely no margin of error so if you've ended up with a b and you have to get an a or if you've ended up with a c and you have to get an a c in, in the case of c obviously you should be sitting for a retake but if you're if you've ended up with a b it's very rare although i hope you do but it's very rare that you will be able to increase it or bring it up to an a so just keep that in mind uh, another question that i got some a question that i always go, get is what do you think the threshold will be i'm getting so and so marks in m1 p1 marks are irrelevant I'm getting so-and-so marks in S1. Do uh, you think I should go for a retake or not? Well, you don't have to decide right now whether you should go for a retake or not, okay? You can do that after the result. So you don't have to choose right now. I think Cambridge has done students a favor in a way that they don't have to uh, sort of make up their mind without actually seeing the result. Once you see the result, if you like it, great. If you don't, you can avail the free retake. So I can't say anything about the threshold. Then what about composite slash accelerated students? Okay, now if we read the statement here I'll share it on my screen also students with an assessed mark who wish to reset the same option in November may do so without charge so the key words here are same option same option basically means that whatever papers you appeared for in May June whether it was P1 M1 P1 S1 or whether you were an accelerated student or a composite so or you gave all four papers in one sitting you have to appear for all four of them at once so whatever it is that you appeared for in may june you have to appear for all of them in october november as well now is that fair or unfair um can't say anything about that but that's what it is so if you gave uh, p1 s1 then you have to give both the components again if you gave all four you have to give all four of them again however i will um mention this that if let's say you gave all four then your grade will be calculated on the basis of the three papers that you have given so let's say you've given p1 m1 p3 s1 then your grade will be calculated on the basis of p3 m1 and s1 okay p1 marks will not be counted okay as your your p1 marks will be calculated on the basis of the three legit components that cambridge is marking so i hope that's clear uh what about reset okay so if you read the last sentence of this paragraph it says we will provide more details about free resets shortly after the results are released so you don't have to like i said make up your mind right now you have time wait till the results come out 
and then discuss it with your teacher, with your parents, whoever has been a part of this journey. They will probably tell you what you should do. And at the same time, do be clear about what it is that you're aiming for, depending on what university you're applying to. And then a lot of you, again, the questions were very repetitive, like I said. So a lot of you reached out and asked whether or not you should sit for a retake. So like I said, it, it depends what you're aiming for, what the requirement of the university you want to apply to is. Uh, and I will repeat that the higher the grade it is, the better for you. And uh, if let's say you end up with a B, even if it's a high B, it's very difficult to bring it up to an A because like I said earlier, you're leaving yourself absolutely no margin of error. So that's that. These are uh, most of the questions that I got. And um, like I said, do not panic right now, focus on the next year of A levels, which is A2, that's what you should be worried about right now. You will have time after the result to decide whether you should opt for a retake or whether you should carry on with these grades. So yeah, that's it. I hope I've answered all the important questions. If still there's a question that I haven't answered, let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer it right away. So that's it, fellas. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.